Hello there, my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated the last Elite Four member, Marshall, the fighting type master. And in today's episode, we are going to make our way inside of this weird looking shiny statue and take on the champion. So let's go ahead and whoa, make our way downwards, I guess, uh, because it looks like it's taking us into the champion's lair. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. And I'm ready to take on the champion. Uh, Repel's effect wore off. Let's make our way up the stairs then. And wait, whoa. This is a really, really long area to be running up towards. Oh, man. Look at that. We're making our... What, what is that? It looks like a big, shiny looking uh, palace. So let's make our way inside because this must be where the champion is. He should be... What? Well, why is N here? It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend Zekrom. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I beg you! Separating people from Pokemon, do anything but that! You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. I've been waiting. In the future I envisioned, you obtained a stone, and indeed you have. That light stone, Zekrom is responding to it. Stop! This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons! From the ground, rise up! The castle of Team Plasma! Surround the Pokémon League! What has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The King's word will resound from the heights to all below. You must come into the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people, or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck! It's not fitting for the champion! You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy! Uh, I have to congratulate you. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Rodri, tell N this! Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together, we learned and became stronger. I... I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursued their dreams. Rodri, I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. Alright guys, a lot of crazy things are happening. It looks like Team Plasma, their castle has appeared and has surrounded the Pokemon League. And N has defeated Alder, making him the champion? I have never seen anything like this happened before but we are going to enter inside of the castle and it looks like the six sages are here those in accord with fate are persevered and those who rebel against fate perish when the way is forgotten duty and justice appear one can lose a forest for the trees if you make a mistake
mistake and do not correct it. That is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right, inferior men understand what will sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Getz's perfect plan. Our Lord End will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Still standing, are you, Rodri? You, you, your drift fails! Her ain't just me! So sorry! Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us! A curse of gym leaders! Ignoring Team Plasma! That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do! We all gasters could come too! I'm fine, don't worry! No need to worry! Holder of the light stone, please proceed! Alright guys, it looks like the gym leaders are backing us up! This is absolutely amazing! Oh my gosh, you don't even know! This is just incredible! I can't believe this is happening! The gym leaders are backing us up, our good old friends, and it is time for us to proceed forward! Because it looks like we have to go further and further inside of the castle in search of N, which I do not know where he is, but I am hoping that we will be able to find him. Uh, th this is just absolutely amazing. I have never seen something like this happen before in a Pokemon game, and I'm just astounded by what's going on here. Let's keep on moving. Come. Something is calling out to us. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it's our Lord's End's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of this castle. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, and then we will be able to proceed on. So let me talk to this lady. I am Anthea. Trainer, before you go to confront my Lord End, please take a moment to rest. Okay, cool. So at least they are going to heal us up a little bit, and then we'll be able to proceed on, which is awesome. Okay, she's telling us that Lord N has realized that there is a lot more to it, I am Kalkardi, I give peace and comfort to Den. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon, Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Getz has deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing his ideals, thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent, but there's nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Okay, so it looks like there's more to the story about N than we know at this point. Which way are we headed? That is the question. Let's keep on moving towards the top of the castle because I believe that is where we're supposed to go. I'm guessing that N is probably at the top of this castle. A battle between you and our Lord N will reveal whether our Lord N is an ideal hero. It would also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world where people live with Pokemon. All right, let's keep on going towards the top then. A lot is coming to us right now. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord N. I don't feel anything even when I go into the room, but you may feel something. Should we make our way inside of this room then? Because it seems like there may be something in here that we don't know about. So this was the room that N was in. This was where N grew up and it just, it seems really full of innocence. But if you can hear that music, there's also something eerie about it. All right, let's keep on moving then throughout this castle. Oh man, this is a really big castle. I wonder how they managed to get it here to the Pokemon League. Uh, there are some Team Plasma banners around us. Um, and if I'm correct, this must be it. So let's make our way inside. Welcome, holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Unova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He is accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with a desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring it to being the world that I know, that Team Plasma desires, more easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon, and we shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I plan. Now, those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Okay, guys, it's time for us to make our way inside and see if we have what it takes to be a hero. 
N is right up ahead. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you are equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination. It is time for us to take on N, it looks like. You came all this way to battle me, but Reshiram is not responding. You haven't yet been recognized as a, as a hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Zekrom, come to me! So it looks like Zekrom is now in front of us, and it is our time! The Lightstone is trembling inside the bag! Your Lightstone is... I mean, Reshiram is... The Lightstone is glowing, guys! What could be happening? The Lightstone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. Zekrom and Reshiram! They were once one life, one Pokémon! Complete opposites, yet the same! Zekrom and Reshiram are Pokémon that appear before the hero they recognize! Ah, uh, I see! You really are a hero too! I'll tell you what that Pokémon is saying to you! I want to battle with you! Try to make me your friend and ally! It plans to test you to see if you are really pursuing truth! I also am curious to see how powerful you are! Now, catch Reshiram and make it your ally! The moment has come for us to prove that we too are heroes! Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and take on Reshiram. Bria! Here we go, Rodri versus Reshiram. It is time for us to take on the legendary Pokemon. Reshiram has appeared in front of us, and we are going to open up with Roarin. I have a strategy in mind. Reshiram has Turbo Blaze. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty nervous for this. I'm going to go for the Surf. We are going to try to catch this Pokemon. I only have about 10 Ultra Balls, but I'm going to try my hardest to catch it. So here we go. Roarin, go for the Surf. Hopefully it doesn't do a whole lot. I'm hoping that we can, you know, just weaken it as much as possible. And then we can just start throwing some Ultra Balls at it. I have a couple strategies in mind to catch this Pokemon. But I'm also a little bit nervous to get this going. So let's just go ahead and go for another Surf. That did a lot. It is almost down. So I'm actually going to switch out Pokemon. And I'm going to switch out... Ooh, man. All right, I'm going to bring out Fernia. Because I feel like if I get the false swipe off, 
uh, we should be looking quite good uh, to catch his Pokemon, which we're about to find out. Uh, let's see, Restaurant's gonna go for the Slash, uh, which is really good for us. That shouldn't do crazy amounts of damage. Now, I'm gonna go for the False Swipe, which if we land... No! Restaurant went for the Dragon Breath. Oh, no, that's gonna knock us out. Super effective. Dragon on Dragon action. Okay, we are gonna use our next Pokemon then, and I am gonna go ahead and switch out to uh, Darunia, who is a Fire-type. And should be able to put up a good fight against Reshiram. I'm going to go ahead and just start throwing some uh, Ultra Balls at it then. And let's hope that we can catch it here. I'm going to go ahead and just start throwing them. And let's hope for the best, my friends. Uh, let's hope that we can catch this Reshiram. Uh, I don't know. It's probably going to be a lot tougher than we expect it to be. Oh! I thought we had it there. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. I thought we had it. That was so close. And wow, Reshiram is really strong. I'm just going to keep throwing out the Ultra Balls and hope that we can catch it here sooner rather than later. Come on, Reshiram. We need you. If you want us to be the hero, we need you on our side. And there we go. Reshiram was caught on the second Ultra Ball. That wasn't bad at all. Reshiram's data was added to the Pokedex. It says, Reshiram, Vast White Pokemon, is a Dragon Fire type. And we are going to give a nickname to the caught Reshiram. Now, you know, there's always a dark side and there's always a, a, a light side. So I'm going to go ahead and call this Reshiram uh, something a little bit uh, shorter than usual. But we're going to go ahead and call it uh, Luz, which is uh, Luz stands for light in Spanish. Uh, so welcome to the team, Luz. Uh, we are actually coming out to making a decision my friends so in the next episode we will continue from this point the question that is asked now is do we want to be like n and use a legendary pokemon on our team to prove that we are the heroes or do we believe in our pokemon and fight with the team of six that we have if you guys have any tips let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye